Hello friends, welcome back to Biotech Simplified. Today, we will discuss about a bacteria which is Shivanella putrefaciens. So what is Shivanella putrefaciens? So Shivanella putrefaciens is a gram-native bacteria and this gram-native bacteria is a facultative anaerobe that is in the presence of oxygen, they can use the oxygen. And this Bacteria also has the ability to reduce iron as well as manganese. So these bacteria can be isolated either from a marine environment or from anaerobic sandstone in marathon formation. So it can be either isolated from a marine environment or from the sandstone in marathon formation. So this bacterium is responsible for the order of rotting fish. That is, we know that when a fish decays, it produces a false smell. And the smell is because of a trimethyl amine which is produced by the Shivanella putrefaciens. That is, the word putrefaciens means putride, which means the false smell or the decaying of a fish. So as we discussed earlier, the word putrefication came from the word putride which means decaying or rotting. And the word Shivanella came from the scientist who worked in fish spoilage that is James M. Shivan. So the bacterium was first isolated in the year 1931 and this was isolated from a putrefied butter. And this was successfully called Archobacter putrefaciens, Pseudomonas putrefaciens, Ultramonas putrefaciens, and the finally the Shivanella species. So now let us discuss what is the growth condition needed for the Shivanella putrefaciens. So Shivanella putrefaciens require a range between 4 to 40 degrees Celsius for the growth. In the case of humans, the Shivanella putrefaciens normally do not cause infection. But in rare cases, it is reported that this organism causes infection as well as it causes bactericemia on humans. So Shivanella putrefaciens in both solid and liquid media, it is appeared as bright pink in color. And in a blood agar plate, the colonies are large with a brown pigment and causes a greening of the agar around the colonies. So the Shivanella putrefaciens in a Makungi agar, it is a non-lactose fermenting bacteria that is, it is colorless in a Makungi agar and in a TSI it is an organism which produces hydrogen sulfide. Oh, the concept is clear. For more such videos, do subscribe to our channel, Biotech Simplified.